Two months ago, on a rainy day, a little girl and her mother found a tiny abandoned kitten under a shelter to keep it out of the rain. They couldn't leave it there. Maury and her daughter Rachel from Arkansas were at the local police station. When the mother got out of the car, she heard the desperate cry of a kitten. I thought I heard something, but when I got out, I still heard it, Maury said. They followed the sound, looking for the kitten. As they searched in the rain, Rachel noticed a tiny ginger fluffball, trembling with fear and meowing desperately under the shelter. She quickly reached out and gently pulled him to safety. They rushed back to their car with the kitten in Rachel's arms. The little one could be seen shaking and scared. His voice was very hoarse from crying. The police station is right next to our animal control department, so we're wondering if someone left him there, Maury added. The cans they had in the car came in handy that day. The hungry little cat was so happy to be given food that he gulped it down while purring. He was alone, calling for help, and his voice was hoarse. We think he was there for several days, Rachel told Love Meow. The pads of his paws were burnt from the hot pavement. He was so happy that someone saved him. We both had tears. We rarely find kittens on our own, usually they are brought to us. We were excited to have saved him together and so grateful that we were the ones who heard his cries, Maury added. They named the little one Ollie and took him home to raise him. The ginger boy experienced love, warmth, and comfort for the first time in his life. He quickly came out of his shell and turned into a playful bundle of joy. We were there just in time to find him. He's so cute and he's so happy to be taken care of. When it came time for adoption, Ollie and another foster kitten, Darwin, became the perfect pair for a family whose cat was mourning the loss of his best cat friend. The family that adopted them has two more dogs and a cat who was very lonely after losing his best cat friend. These two kittens really helped him. He was very depressed and stopped playing, and now he's active again and playing with his new kitten friends. Rachel and her sister Leah have been raising him since they saved their first kitten, Mason. He is the reason we started fostering cats, Rachel said. Over the years, we have taken in around 150 kittens, the vast majority of them orphaned or sick kittens.